Hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Goku. I'm David. And I'm Lindsay. And we've got a beautiful figure from Mega House today. The Gem Mew and Mewtwo. I love the Gem series. Um, awesome. It yeah, is. Big. This is a big model. Yeah, um, it's, it is a little smaller in scale, but that's kind of to make up for how big the Pokemon are, you know? Yeah, and also, I mean, you can see the effects on the outside are pretty big. So. Yeah. The, so the base itself is really big. And, you know, it's just, it's so funny because every time I look at this, I just remember going to the theater as a kid and yeah. seeing the first Pokemon movie. With like, Mew at the end. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the big battle between these guys. And, like, you know, the, the scene where Ash dies. Mm. He di he dies a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I I love this this figure out of many, many of the recent ones because it's got, it's all, it's the original 150, right? 151, sorry. But yeah. Yes, um, I mean, Mew's right there. Yeah. How dare you, David? <laughs> but like, um, the new ones, I mean, I know some of the Pokemon. Yeah. Um, I couldn't tell you half their names. Maybe not even a tenth of their names. Um, I know all of the 151. Yeah, I didn't play all of the, the older games, but um, I'm learning much more of them from Pokemon Go. I still play that regularly. Uh, I'm learning a few from uh, Pokemon Let's Go. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the Pikachu and Eevee yeah, game. Yeah, I've got a little ball as well. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Yeah. Um, anyway, so let's crack into this and see how it looks up close. Cool. So here they are fresh out of the box. We're just going to take a very quick look at the box. Um, it just shows the figures from a few different angles. Um, pretty cool. Yeah, nice design. Nice, box. nice, little nice and eye popping. Nothing in the box though, really. Yeah. Apart from the figure itself. itself. <laughs> The figure is already all together, so unlike Fos or some of the other ones we put together on the show, oh Jesus, like 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 uh, Super Sonico in her bride outfit. There is no assembly required with this. <laughs> it is ready right out of the box. So how's it stuck there? I guess they've already done it with. It, it. looks like it's glued, maybe. I don't see any no pegs. pegs, but so be careful. But I mean, it, it's a pretty solid piece of plastic, so I think you'd have to put a lot of effort or a lot of force on it to break it off. So yeah, let's just take a quick look at it. Um, well, so, the cool thing is it's got its own base. Like, it's not just black. It's got some right. To it. Um, even the the base down here itself has kind of a texture to it. I guess it's look a little like wood or yeah. something. Or like ground or something. But yeah, it's a really nice figure. Um, awesome. If you're a fan, you know, of the original Pokemon series or that movie that I mentioned, you know, this is like a must have, I think. Um, For sure. It's, it's just so nice. Like, it's so dynamic. Um, you know, you've got them both midair and then you've got all of these special effect parts going on. The clear plastic used down here. Even this cloud is, is like clear plastic that's been painted over, so it kind of yeah. has a smoky Two effect. Yeah. They um, So I guess Mew's performing some type of electric attack, and Mewtwo is going for a psychic blast or something like that. It's a really cool effect. I like how they've put the little um, you know, clear plastic that's been painted over on the ball. Yeah, it's really nice. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, let's see. But yeah, um, I think my favorite part of the base is this swirl effect here. Um, just because it brings the figure together so nicely without having to use like pegs yeah, on everything. You can't see any, any of the like necessary parts to make it you know, stick together. Which yeah, really cool. usually it would just be like a clear plastic stick coming up to hold somebody <laughs> midair, but this one just makes full use of this effect. Yeah, I guess all the plastic parts come separate and then they've been hand stuck together because they're not actually, um, what, it's not one piece of plastic this, you can see here that yeah. that's gone in. Yeah, so like there's a peg right there. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just looks really nice. Um, I'm a big fan of pink myself, so... I yeah. really like the no, like the color palette purple. here. <laughs> yeah. I think um, it's also quite a nice size. You could put this on your desk and it wouldn't cause too much grief. Unlike something like Supersonico, which you'd have to have your own like uh, <laughs> cupboard for or something. Right. You, she gets a shelf space yeah. on her own. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. 
Oh, that must be for the swell. Effect. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's where it's stuck inside the base, but it, it just looks so unpolished compared yeah, to the rest, rest of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just a lot going on here, so it's really nice. Um, Do you have you to can careful? see a few seam lines like on his leg right here, but it doesn't really bother me because there's just so much going on in the figure yeah. that your eye isn't really attracted to it so much. I would say be careful with the uh, electric parts in the tail because it's they're obviously they are movable, so yeah, they might probably could snap off. Yeah, they might snag on something, but other than that, I mean, it, it doesn't really look like it's in any any fear of falling apart. Falling apart. It's pretty she says, solid. <laughs> Yeah, it's I yeah the so the gradations cool. nice uh, not just on the effect part but like you can see there's uh, purple shading here and like the creases of his his um, arms and legs. Um, just do you think they're all the same each each one or do you, is, has this been painted by someone? I mean, typically, as far as I know, with figures. Um, you know, th there's a machine that paints part of it, but then some sometimes somebody else is required to come in and spray paint Little to bit. get yeah, to get the these gradation. kind of effects. It just kind of depends on what technology they use. Good Smile Company has a really nice uh, blog uh, showing the process oh, yeah. for how they make Nendroids, and you can see where like the the funniest part is like with the face plates. They they actually have to put it in the same machine and then it stamps one color on. They take oh, it they out put it, put it and then one. it stamps on like the another layer of coloring. So basically like it stamps on the white color in the back, then it stamps on the color and then it stamps on the yeah, the like well. darker <laughs> shades. It's really nice. Um I recommend looking up the video. And it's in um, or, that blog's in uh, English as well, right? Yes. Yeah, that's cool. So got to love good smile. They yeah. are thinking of their international Just market. Just going off on a tangent, but they made this exclusive um, Disney figures for um, the US, and they're about this big. They're, they're, <laughs> you can't hands? even see your hands. Well, it's they're massive, but they much cost, bigger than this. They cost like uh, two thousand dollars each or something like that. Wow, it's like a real special thing. But... Yeah, so this is just really nice. It's very sturdy. Um, you don't have to worry about. So much yeah. <laughs> as some other figures about like your cat knocking it over. Um, the expressions are nice. The shading is nice. I like the Mew. The Mew's, the Mew's quite, really like, cute. cute. He's got Do a very think... innocent look to him. Yeah, they meant to be like fighting each other, I guess. <laughs> well, but, but in the movie too, Mew is just kind of a very innocent existence. Like he's attacking him. It's and more Mew's like, like Mew's, just, Mew's just defending himself pretty much. Damn, I want to watch that movie again. But I bet right? you it wouldn't have such an effect as it did before. We'd be like, <laughs> so corny. <laughs> I mean, my, I just always remember uh, the end scene where these two both uh, throw a huge energy attack at each other, a psychic yeah, blast, yeah. and Ash gets in the middle of them. <laughs> dies. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, what was that other one? Where dies. It doesn't, um, when Pikachu nearly dies, he starts talking in the latest movie. Really? Yeah. Oh my and, god. Because they they rebooted it and they did I Choose You Again, but with new Oh graphics. yeah, yeah, I remember and then that. Pikachu goes, I will always be with you, yes. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the hell? Oh my god. It's like that new detective movie where he talks. But, yeah. Oh, but I mean that one's totally different. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's about it. Um, there's not a lot to talk about. It's just a nice figure with a lot of nice coloring. Yeah. And like it's it. great, you know, for fans of the series. Like, this is the first time I've seen a figure like this of Mew and Mewtwo. Yeah, the original Big Daddies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyway, roll music video now.
that was pretty cool. Um, it's a static figure, so we didn't have many parts to look at, no, but the colors. No yeah, color. and I like the two-toned um, plastic of the you know the force effect around them. So. Right, and and it's so dynamic that it's really neat to look at from different angles. Yeah, putting it on the turntable, it's pretty sweet. But yeah, this just reminds me so much of you know the classic Pokemon and that it's movie. Pure classic. I just remember going to it with my brother and sister, and like. We're from a really small town, yeah. so we were like the only people in the theater. This anime right. movie. <laughs> Absolutely, and I went. I think I went multiple times as well because you could get free cards when you went. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think we had that so promotion. I, I definitely have all four of the cards. If there were, four. I've got all of them. So I think I went that many times. Do you think that like, was a promotion just in the UK? Yeah, it could have been. Some of these are very like close promotions. Like at the moment, in uh, recently in the US, they had something at McDonald's, but no one yeah. else in the world had that. And at the moment in Japan, they've got these bread bread packs. Um, bread packs. Yeah, that they're like got Pokemon bread in it. But Is you that... get one card in all these <laughs> bread packs? And because I'm a Pokemon card collector, I went out and got eight packs of bread that I'm never going to eat. Oh my god! But I got the shiny shiny pink. You should bring them to work. We'll eat them for you. Yeah. Unless they've gone stale because no, you've opened the packages. Oh, <laughs> darn it! But yeah, um, yeah, I, I love that about card collecting. It's that different countries have different stuff but yeah they're also doing the donut thing at mr donut oh, yeah. right now though it might be over by the time this Here's airs but yeah he took a picture of his own yeah. purchase so I got the whole kit with the mug and okay so they only made them in limited amounts oh. and you had to line up because they only they made like what 50 a day and they only put out 10 at a time yeah. and there was just this huge line of moms I, just trying to buy them all up i <laughs> went to one at, at opening time at 9 30. yeah the woman and her kids in front of me bought all of them all of the decent looking ones anyway because they had like problems with making them and then the second shop I went to the guy in front of me bought all the all the good looking ones as well so I had to go to a third shop and then I got wow but yeah <laughs> um, but yeah just saying about the production like it <laughs> some of them were really odd looking yeah like, the, look but we we liked the derpy ones yeah. too <laughs> yeah, but um, unfortunately they were banana flavored so yeah, I wasn't the too wasn't the best. um Poke the Pokeball was strawberry. strawberry. Yeah. And they had some other Christmas. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, you guys also want to hear the winner, I'm sure, of the Land of the Lustrous yeah. figure we did a couple times ago. Yeah, and and so I've got cool. that right here. We've got a really low number for you this time. Uh, I don't know the exact number because they don't display those on our WordPress page anymore. But the winner of Phosphophyllite is... Mecha Man JC, who said, great figure in a gem of a show. Hope I win, which is, you know, nice little. But the funny thing about this is that at the fun. start, he hadn't actually um, registered. And then Lindsay caught, like, caught on the case <laughs> and he registered. So his name went. His orange. name went into the bucket of. Entries. Of the random number generator entries. It's not a bucket at all. I apologize. Yeah. But episode 300 of GTV was a literal. Raffle. Oh, like yes, it. yes, that was cool. Kylo Ren's head. But yeah, if you haven't seen that episode, check it out. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> but yeah, so how can they win Mew and Mewtwo? Okay, well, they have to comment on this episode on hobbylink.tv and uh, obviously they have to be registered. Write a comment, just one please, unless it's a reply. And then you'll be entered into the grand draw where we'll use a random number generator, pick someone, and then, well, we'll announce you on the next show. Two shows from this one, I think. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. be sure to like and subscribe and also check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and links to all of those are on hlj.com. And please like and subscribe and hit the bell. And that's it. See ya. See ya.